Hello guys, this is Rajit from CIC Talks, where we talk about IELTS and Canadian immigration on a daily basis. So today we have a pretty new and an interesting kickoff topic. But before we delve into it, I request you to please watch this video till the end and if you like our content, please hit the like and subscribe button. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the QCA topic is describe a time you got lost in a place you didn't know about. So for your convenience, I have divided this QCA topic into various subtopics. Like how do we introduce this topic? It is covered in the introduction, then the respective four questions, and then we head on to the conclusion part. In the later part of this video, we will discuss about the follow-up that are related to this cue card. Please keep in mind that there are multiple ways of responding to this cue card, and here we are discussing just one way of answering it and building a realistic good enough story around it. Uh, let's start with the introduction. We all have some stories or real life experiences that haunt us every now and then. Traveling to the Spiti Valley and getting lost is uh, one of those dark, challenging moments which I had encountered just recently. So now, when did it happen? Uh, it was on August 19th, the day of our climb to the Kanamo Peak uh, at Spiti Valley, Himachal Pradesh. It might otherwise have been a successful summit climb, but the aftermath, it was a nightmare. Even now when I think about it, I feel shivers run down my spine. And then the second question is, who was with you? That day, I was accompanied by my colleagues from my workplace. Actually, we were planning for this daredevil climb since our days of internship. Because you know, our lives were time starved and technology driven. And uh, let's be honest. Travel allowed us to escape life's daily demands, dramas and deadlines to clear our minds. And the next one is, what did you do when you were lost in those mountains? So we started our climb to the mountain with full gusto. But on the way I got separated and as I walked I realized I was in absolute wilderness. After wandering aimlessly for about 3 hours I saw a flock of Himalayan blue sheep near the river. I followed the course of the river and fortunately I reached an old village settlement. Then the villagers over there, they helped me reach the base camp. So how you felt about it? Well, honestly speaking, I felt a little scared. Like everything was going against me, a small part of me just wanted to give up and remain there. But my primal instinct was to survive the weather, survive the terrain and the absolute wilderness. So somehow my resolve helped me maintain my calm. In the end, I would just like to tell you that uh, uh, until this day, no one in my family knows that I had almost got lost and put my life in danger in the depths of the Spiti Valley. And I would prefer to keep it that way only. So that's the end of the cue card. Let's discuss the follow ups now. The first one is, do you often get lost? Uh, I don't really get lost too frequently. Most of the time I use Google Maps or what we call G Maps to find a secure path whenever I tread onto some unfamiliar track. But you know, the internet is grappled with limitations. So I ask localites for directions whenever the internet malfunctions. Is map reading skill important? Uh, well ma'am, I think map reading and map drawing are two quintessential skills to learn in life. Through map reading, we are able to develop a special thinking by visualizing where objects, places, cities and countries are in relation to one another. Some may think maps are unnecessary and complicated tools, but in reality, from my personal perspective, they, they simplify our life. For instance, like if there is flooding near you and you will need to know how to get to the closest high elevation. Your map reading skill may actually save your life in such a case. Why some people like traveling to other places? Well, I believe some people goes off and travels around in search of amusement, fun and learning. They like to see beautiful places, explore different cultures and uh, cuisines. Personally, globetrotters like me, they feel that travel is the best way to immerse yourself in geography, in history, culture, gastronomy, languages, biology, you name it and the travel has it. And the last one is, 
should they find information about the place before going there uh, they hear refers to the travelers uh, it's definitely worth to check the environment the surroundings and know some basic language skills before moving to some uncharted territory because we can travel easily if we know the place the dialect and how to communicate with people so that's all for today i hope you find this content informative and please share subscribe and support our efforts i really really appreciate you following me and thank you very much uh, see you soon take care everybody bye